Key West, yo! We going Woo! to Key West, what? strict budget for you know eating out and stuff but when I see hogfish sandwiches that taste like scallops and freaking lobster rubens <laughs> yeah uh, we're gonna be eating out a lot during this period of time <laughs> this is my food dream I'm not holding back I mean we're in the keys for like five days there's a, amazing restaurants amazing seafood I just can't say no you know if there's a time to splurge it's right now <laughs> Doing our first walk, we just got here. Dude, some people have boats parked right outside of the rig like they brought their boat to. One day, one day we'll do that. <laughs> That's my dream. Oh, wow. this is nice. Look at this. Dude. Oh, no way, you can swim here. How's it going? Hello. Oh, this is sand. This is sand. Wow. You can go swim down there, see? Yeah, and I like how they have like the, the buoys to kind of ensure that no sharks can, can get through, you know? Oh, let's go check out these kayakers. This is insane. This white sand, so nice. So I'm about to drop a truth bomb here, a golden nugget of sorts, on what I consider to be the best thing about RV life. Here I go. So when we arrive to RV park in the Keys, we are literally steps away from the ocean, we have direct access to our own private beach, and there's some of the best beaches in the country just like 20 to 30 minutes away from here. All of this is costing us maybe $75 a night. Now if you think about that for a second, if we were to go the hotel route, and that includes flights and, and car rentals and all that jazz, the, the cheapest hotel in the Keys, by the way, I just did my research, is $200 a night, which is outrageously more than what we're paying. And Airbnbs are also extremely expensive. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is there's nothing out there that even compares to the lifestyle costs of living in an RV. And you can go as extravagant as you want. I mean, there's all kinds of parks out there, and frankly, the $70 to $75 range a night is more than we are comfortable paying on average when you look at RV resorts. All things considered, all that being said, this is why I, I've fallen in love with RV life and why we're continuing to travel across the country in our travel trailer. It's awesome. Like if you're wanting to travel at length for an extended amount of time and road trip across the US, there's no better way to go. And we're super stoked to be here for a week, getting that resort experience and it not costing us an arm and a leg. Curly's coffee is so small and cute. Oh my god, it's right here. It's a little drive-through. That's Curly's it? coffee? Yeah. It's tiny. Literally like the tiniest building I've ever seen. I'm so stoked. We've heard, we've heard about this place from some friends of ours and they're like, you guys gotta go get Curly's coffee. We're like, all right. Yeah. I like curly fries, so close enough. Hey, then. 
Oh, no, no, it's drive through Oh, how cute. Wow. Oh, no, oh, you awesome. want an ice or hot? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, you, okay. you crush it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it is fun. Cool. Yeah, I'm so excited. Dude, this is my dream. And we're off for another beach day. I've got my off the grid Big Sur hat that my brother made. I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. And as you haven't noticed, the, uh, this mustache yeah. is going down. I must say, this is Hemingway inspired after checking out the Hemingway Museum yesterday. Hemingway. Hemingway? And seeing all these wonderful photos of him with his mustache, I thought, my God, what have I been doing my whole life? This is my jam. Anyways, uh, yeah, we have like three beaches on the agenda today. So blue. I haven't jumped in yet, but if you look, this is all sweat. <laughs> oh. So nice. Olivia just found out an interesting fact about this place. What'd you find out? It's one of the best beaches in the world. <laughs> yeah. It's considered one of the best beaches in the United States, top rated. So, you know, you could just sit in it all day. It's so freaking nice. We gonna lounge today. <laughs> Going to lounge today. <laughs> Olivia is giving us her best James Bond girl. Beach. Uh, this is probably the earliest we've ever gotten to a beach, so there's hardly anybody here, which is nice. So we'll get to pick out our spot, find a nice little tree to put our stuff down at. Cheers! Put it in the sun because the sun put it hard. So the fish, when they fish bite, this is a trap. You know a fish before? Her dad bought me a pole. Really? So he has a fishing but pole. But I have no idea what exactly to do. I mean, <laughs> so I have to watch, so we're happy I have to watch YouTube videos or something to learn. So look, she's putting the... The lure, yeah. So I put, oh, you wow. put this on top so when he bites, yeah. try not to show it too much because they can see it. Okay. And uh, like that. So they, they go because in the water they move. Uh, see? So it, oh, that's yeah. good. It draws their attention. Yes. Let's see if they... Answer me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, I need you. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you do pretty well. You've been doing it your whole life, you yeah. said, though, yeah. When I came to this country, I was 12 years old, and I went to junior high school, high school, college, and all of that. And uh, Miami was like this. Yeah. When you first I, got there? Yes. I used to leave my bike in the front, you know, in the garden. Yeah. Fine. My father used to leave the car open and the windows and all of that shit. Nothing happened. But no, what, what do you think changed? I mean... Uh, well, uh, after the, after the Mariel in the 80s, that changed. so freaking nice out here the water is like crystal clear still not many people here we're midweek right now so it's actually perfect it's nice what a badass lady she just moves out to marathon in love with fishing right when we arrived she was literally pulling a shark out of the water badass if you're a fisherman this is like heaven and she's just out there as often as she can be so 
That's what I love about traveling. You just meet amazing people along the way. And Terry is another one of them. So we're now at Keys Fisheries, about to try the world famous Lobster Reuben. Right at the top there where it says sandwiches. $23. Famous lobster Reuben. Wow. That, look how much lobster they're putting in there. Wow. And you know what you guys want to see? The buttered bread. Listen to that. Listen to that. <laughs> Coconut shrimp looks insane. I got some tartar sauce as well because I love tartar sauce. But Coleslaw? You know what? You know you sometimes have this gut feeling that this is gonna be a winner. I'm positive this is gonna be a winner. <laughs> I haven't even take, taken one bite, but look at the ah. Way better than anything else we've had. Amazing. I don't know. Dude, what's this it? Is sauerkraut, cheese. Thousand Island. But you know what I love is just like, I mean, it's just lobster. Yeah. Um, that's to die for. So good. All right, so I, I tried to order stone crab earlier, but unfortunately, their season ends in May, and we're now in May, so we we missed out. But. I saw that they had coconut shrimp on the menu. I just had a few bites, as you can see, but there's only half left. Like, the shrimp is perfect. And it comes with a little mango chutney here. Order this, too. It's just good. It's great. The best food we've had in Marathon so far. So far. So, Key Fisheries, that's where it's at. You won't be disappointed. Maybe come before May, though, so you get that stone crab. <laughs> Two, three.